Hi guys, welcome to the Thinking Crypto channel where we are closely approaching 40,000 subscribers. We cover the crypto news as well as interview many of the folks who are building and investing in the asset class. So if you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, the US Pentagon has created a scenario for a war game that includes Bitcoin. This is very, very interesting. I'm going to break it down for you, but it comes as no surprise. Governments are scared of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, and Bitcoin started it all. Now, I do believe that they are trying to combat it with CBDCs. That's why the pressure, the rush is there to create central bank digital currencies to combat Bitcoin and other potential currencies. But the fact that they highlight it here in a war game scenario Man, this is on another level. So those of you who don't know what the Pentagon is, it is essentially where the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense is, where the headquarters, so to speak, right, where uh, the building is a Pentagon and everybody meets there. That's where all the military and generals and all that put out their plans about what they want to do, right, to protect the U.S. But nevertheless, guys, uh, a Pentagon war game shows Gen Z using Bitcoin to fight the system. A war game conducted by members of U.S. military's war colleges involved a battle against Generation Z. Documents obtained by The Intercept reveal. Now, this is very interesting timing given what's happening in the world today. The Pentagon created a war game that involved a seemingly likely scenario. Generation Z fighting against the state. In the war, Generation Z distributes, excuse me, redistributes funds stolen from corporations and converts them into Bitcoin in order to battle inequality. Wow. The game comes at a time when there is increasing instability in the U.S. You don't say. And here's the document, guys, dated, no, uh, excuse me, the title of it is Notional Exercise Material for Educational Purposes Only. And it is dated 2018, but it gives a scenario of the mid-2020s. It says here, z Bellion, so Generation Z rebelling. In the mid-2020s, the age demographic known as Generation Z or Gen Z began hitting their 30s. Like the millennials who pre preceded them, Gen Z were ca categorized as even more comfortable, if not dependent upon, technology in nearly every aspect of their lives. So once again, they... They essentially uh, take money from the fiat corporations and so forth, and they put into Bitcoin. And like I said, they mentioned Bitcoin here that, you know, Gen Z is frustrated that after 9-11, the Great Recession of 2018, and now you have what's possibly a greater recession or a depression. I don't know. You have pandemics. And they highlight that people are going to use uh, Bitcoin. So it says here, z Bellion uses software programs to route any proceeds into laundering programs that ultimately convert national currencies into Bitcoin and make a small below the threshold donations to worthy recipients. And if z Bellion members claim financial need to the member who conducted the attack, z Bellion leadership uh, assures its members that their cyber crimes are ultimately justifiable and untraceable and that it is and, and that it selects targets and beneficiaries based on secure polling of network delegates. Wow, guys, I'm not going to go into everything, but this is an interesting document. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can go read it, guys. This is very, very interesting, and it shows that the government is you know, planning different scenarios that in case these things happen, they're going to try to have their counter uh, acts in place and that what they're going to do to combat this. Because cryptocurrencies are here to stay. They are scared of Bitcoin and other cryptos. And that is why you see companies like Coinbase, which I'm really pissed off about, is now looking to work with the U.S. government. We've been talking about it, right? You guys remember they partnered with Neutrino last year. And now there was leaked documents. They are planning to work with the U.S. government to uh, sell your data. And that is why I'm going to be uh, doing some research and putting together a video on why we need to get off of Coinbase. I personally had Coinbase because I was using it in the past and I have it still, my account still live as a cash out option, right? I primarily use Binance US and Uphold because um, Binance US has the lower fees, but Coinbase is getting ridiculous now. And the fact that they're trying to bridge the gap here with the US government, I don't like that. And uh, this document here, wow. Wow, guys, I highly recommend you read it. It is kind of mind blowing. It, they are talking about Bitcoin. They are scared of Bitcoin. And 
I think that, you know, they're going to be looking at this even more closely because once again, it's not the millennial generation, it's the Z Gen Z who are going to be more comfortable in, in the digital realm and they can, will, they're seeing everything now, right? Because you guys know with social media, with technology, with YouTube and so forth, um, the gatekeepers of media, the gatekeepers of narratives that you, they only show you what you can, what they want you to see is no longer the case. You can see what is happening real time, right? It's no longer the government or the cops or the media can give you a narrative because if someone is on the street recording something, you can see, hey, that that's not right what they said. This is what actually happens. And information is traveling as a, at a faster pace. So the government is, is certainly scared of this. And like I said, when people have alternative uh, money, they have alternative currencies, right? Even though Bitcoin has its flaws and so forth, it is a hedge against these governments and their money printing and all the things they're doing. Make no mistake about it. And the government recognizes that. That is why they are putting together war games like this, scenarios. It, it, it wouldn't, they wouldn't do this if they didn't see a potential threat. This is very interesting. So let's see where this goes, guys. Um, but um, highly recommend you, you check this out. Um, and this is from the 2018 Joint, Joint Land, Air, and Sea Strategic Special Program, or JLAS, imagines frustrated youths who launch a Z Bellion in the US in the 2020s. And wow, Bitcoin mentioned. So very, very interesting. And I, 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 I'm, I'm very curious. I, I need to noodle on this a bit to think about it because, I mean, wow. I need to think about it and give you, I'll have some follow-up thoughts on it. Anyway, guys, moving ahead here, XRP, you guys know I hold Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum in my portfolio. I diversify to reduce the risk in my portfolio. I'm not a maximalist for any coin. I'm just looking at opportunities that, that are going to make me money. And I think many of you are. So Ripple's Navin Gupta, who is um, the managing director of Southeast Asia and MENA at Ripple, um, he confirmed that um, the Great Britain, Britain Pound and Philippine Peso uh, live have a live corridor going. I didn't know about that. There's a lot of corridors that are probably live that we don't know have full details, but he was in an interview and he mentioned that. So via Ripple's ODL where XRP is being leveraged. I'll play you a clip here so you can hear from him. All is XRP, right? So as you know that all over the world, this solution is already live uh, in uh, Philippines, for example, between the UK and Philippines. Let's just take an example. So in UK, there are 24-7 uh, exchanges which trade GBP to XRP. In Philippines, uh, there are 24-7 exchanges which trade XRP to Philippines Peso. Confirms it, right? Money is being moved in those corridors. As you guys know, it's kind of a crawl, walk, run. They're going to start small, test it out, get more people in it. You guys have seen my interview with... Um, the CEO of BTC Markets because uh, there's a market there, a corridor, Ripple, there a Ripple ODL partner. Um, so it is confirmed that in the UK, uh, you have the GBP to Philippine, Philippines pesos live. And what we're looking for is growth in those uh, markets and let the volume grow as we've been seeing in the liquidity index bot, which tracks that volume. And we've been seeing record uh, volume here, guys, for all the corridors. It's been going up. So we're looking for more corridors to be set up. One part of it that's holding back more corridors to be set up, in my opinion, based on what Brad Garlinghouse, the C Ripple CEO, has tweeted, regulatory clarity. You see him constantly tweeting and talking about U.S. regulators. We need clarity, right? And I think that's what's holding back more corridors. But in the corridors where, you know, it's clear there's no... Um, ambiguity they are live and they are running um a lot of the volume there so great to see progress and these things are being set up so i wanted to share that with you guys and uh this is why i'm holding xrp this is why i invested in it because it's being used to solve a real world problem instant settlement notice navin gupta said 24 7 guys because it's all digital, the, the, the sending company can buy the XRP instantaneously, send it, it's, you know, what is it, two seconds, it gets to the other exchange, you sell it for the, other, the currency there, and boom, instant settlement. So it's happening, we just need it to scale and more volume, but regulatory clarity absolutely needed in the US, I believe, uh, based on what Brad Garlinghouse has been putting out. For it to grow so guys what do you think about this news i'm still trying to noodle around this pentagon war games around bitcoin it is kind of mind-blowing 
check out the document in the description of the video. Thumbs up, share this video if you found it helpful, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank <laughs> you.